Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using note, just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the number format exception class and specifically how it relates with try catch statements and exception handling in general. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com, select begin. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to try catch number format exception. The number format exception class is commonly thrown when an attempt is made to convert a string to a number. The number format exception class is derived from runtime exception. The runtime exception class is an important class to mention because all subclasses that are derived from runtime exception and error are referred to as unchecked exceptions. I'll be discussing the topic of unchecked versus checked exceptions in a future tutorial. Now this tutorial builds on concepts from the following tutorials, exception handling, try and catch tutorial, try catch index out of bounds exception tutorial, and try catch arithmetic exception tutorial. Um, I'll go ahead and scroll down here. So basically I'm bringing back my old box class there and um, creating a new constructor, an overloaded constructor here that'll take uh, string arguments too in addition to you know primitive int arguments. So let's go ahead and uh, highlight all the source code here. Control C to copy. Oh, missed the C on that one there. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. All right, I'm going to move my browser off screen here, and I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick by right-clicking, selecting New, Shortcut, type in CMD, Next, and Finish. Go ahead and open that up, type in Java C, press Enter. You should see this, the, all the stuff scroll by, because that was the Java command uh, compiler tool there. There and, but if you don't, if you get an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that, insta that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, then CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. Now I'm going to make a directory here called Java using the MD command. I already have that folder, but if um, you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. Change directories to the Java folder. And I'm going to make a directory here called uh, try catch, and we'll call this uh, number format exception, NFE, right? And let's go ahead and change to that. Notepad, try catch, and then we'll abbreviate number format exception there, dot Java. Okay. Let's go ahead and paste this stuff in. Let's save this here. All right, so I'm going to come, my uh, try catch NFE class has the main method entry point here. And then I've got this box class down here. It's well encapsulated. We've got um, these three instance variables set up private here, length, height, and width, all a primitive int type, and setting them equal, initializing them to zero. And I've got a box constructor here that uh, takes an int, primitive int length, primitive int height, primitive int width, and sets those um, local values basically to whatever these parameter values are accordingly. And then I added in this new uh, box constructor here that takes strings, right? String length, string height, string width. And I'm using the integer class and the parse int method to go ahead and convert whatever comes in for strings into actual, you know, primitive type integers there. And then finally I've got a method in here called get volume which will return length times height times width. All right, let's go ahead and come up here there. And so the first two statements, I'm initializing a box. Well, box one is a reference variable of box type. I'm, initial, I'm setting that to a uh, reference to a new box object and passing it the, uh, invoking the constructor that takes three int values here, right? Which will come down and invoke this one right here, length, and they'll set length, height, width, right? Pretty straightforward on that. Now, um, on the second statement up here, I'm creating a box2 reference variable of box type, setting that equal to the reference to a new box object, and I'm passing it in these string, these string literals, 10, 2, and 4. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a nice new addition for the box class there. So that'll say, okay, I'm going to invoke this particular 
um, method right here and basically that will uh, come down here and find our string length, string height, and string width there. And in the integer class, let's go ahead and come out here and look at the, uh, the parse int um, method. Okay, so the integer class. We come down here and we'll go ahead and just select the parse int. Okay, so parse int takes in a string parameter, returns back a primitive int type, and parses the string argument as a signed decimal integer. If we click on the parse int here, that'll take us out to here. And you can see it throws a number format exception right here. So if, if the string does not contain a parsable integer, all right, let's come take a look at number format exception here. So number format exception is actually derived from illegal argument exception, which is derived from runtime exception. Now runtime exception are everything underneath there, all subclasses of runtime exception are considered unchecked exceptions, right? I'm going to be going into checked exceptions here very shortly when I show you guys how to do your own um, error handling classes there, exception handling classes, I should say. And they'll be um, basically subclasses of exception, but not subclasses of runtime exception. All right, so um, let's go ahead and go back on that. So we want a trap for, whenever we use this, this parse in here, we want a trap for number format exception. So I'm going to do just that here. Now, but you'll notice I'm not doing it in the box constructor. There's no try and catch statement right here, okay? So I'm letting the, uh, basically I'm just kind of passing the buck when this, when this goes off on an error here, it will pass it to the calling method and then the calling method will actually trap for that particular error. So um, the next two statements up here will just display the volume of box one and the volume of box two, right? And then, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try to screw around with it here by passing it, you know, passing the constructor here for a new box three object. Um, basically, five, seven, and three. These these three string literals literally spelled out like that. You know, you never know how your users are going to use your class there, and sometimes the really stupid stuff just shouldn't even surprise you. So let's go ahead and run this here real quick there, and let's. Clear our screen, Java C to compile it, Java to run, uh, let's see, Java try catching that beat. All right, let's go ahead and invoke that class there. So we get the volume of box one is 200, right? That looks good. Five times five is 25 times eight, 200, right? And then the volume of box two is 80. So that worked out great. That's fantastic, our brand new string constructor down here, overloaded string version of the constructor is working just fantastic. And then when we try to, to execute this line right here, we get, you know, our exception and the program comes crashing to a, uh, to a, uh, a halt there. All right, so let's take a, a special look at this one here. So exception in thread main, java.lang.number format exception, which is a, what I totally what we're expecting right here because, you know, we just went over all that stuff in the integer class and then the number format exception. So for input string five, so when it, when it came down here to the very first, we passed it the our first argument of five and it came in here and it says, okay, here's my first parameter length and it tried to parse that in. This is exactly where it crashed down here, right? And you can notice this says line 30 down here. Okay, so. It tells you a little bit more about it, you know, number format exception for input string, so on and so forth there, and then integer parse int, integer parse int. And then what you'll see here is you'll see this, this little interesting thing here. And when an error is thrown in a constructor, you'll see kind of this syntax here in there, box dot, and then you got init inside of these, like, uh, you know, greater than, less than brackets there. Try catch NFE and then dot Java and then line 30. And then, um, so basically what this is, is trying to say there, right? This is, 
box is the name of the class, but trycatchnfe.job is the name of the source code file, and line 30 is where that hit there, right? And then it goes further um, down the call stack and says, okay, trycatchnfe.main was the method that actually invoked that at, at in the trycatchnfe.java source code file, right, at line number nine. Um, so if we come down, back down here, and we look at this line right here, you can see that's, that maybe not, but line nine is that right there, which where the problem was. So that's basically giving you the whole entire stack trace error printed off right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and comment this out here. I'm gonna uncomment these next five lines here. So because we're not catching this integer.parson, if we were to do like documentation for the, uh, the box class, right, and then document our box constructor here, we would say that it throws um, basically number format exception because that's what these these methods in here actually do. You know, the parse int, it, it'll throw something there, so it's considered like, you know, we're doing some risky code there, right? So we have to, we would document it as throwing uh, number format exception, okay? So then we would enclose our, um, our risky code back here that's using that, that uh, box constructor. We would enclose that in a try block here. So, right, so box, Reference variable box three equals new box, and then, you know, basically invoking the constructor with these on it here. And if we catch a number format exception, NFE, we'll say string arguments must contain valid digits unable to create box. So let's go ahead and save this. And then, you know, at the very end, just to show you, system.out.println, I'm just gonna drop in something here. Program finished. You know, just to show you that we're not getting any abnormal termination in this. It'll come, go on and print that. Okay, let's come back up here. Let's clear our screen. Java C. Compile it. Run it. Okay, so we get our volume of box 1 is 200. The volume of box 2 is 80. String arguments must contain valid digits unable to create box. And then program finished. All right, so that's how you can do the error trapping from, say, within by when you're invoking a um, constructor, right? So not only can you trap for methods, but constructors, of course, can call all kinds of stuff when they when they do their stuff as well. So and that introduces you to the number format exception class here as well. Now stay tuned for my tutorials there, because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to create um, your own exceptions there, right? Because one of the shortcomings of this whole entire box class here is that by taking in these, these, this argument or this argument, someone could still say, for example, pass it like negative five, right? And the volume of our box one is negative 200, right? So we don't want to allow for that sort of stuff there. And I'm gonna show you how we can use exception handling as opposed to like method return values, like I was demonstrating in a well long tutorial a very long time ago. But um, yep, stay tuned for that next one there on the creating your own exception classes. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that, get rid of that, and just leave you with uh, one final thought there. So it's worth just mentioning again that number format exception is derived from runtime exception, which makes it an unchecked exception. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.